if so called if a if a person can hit a vocal range, right? High to low. Now that tells you a lot about it just tells you a lot. Now if other people are only able to go to a high note or a low note through like surgeries and, and um gender dysmorphic and like um chemical treatments and all that type of stuff that's not the same thing as having bridge or full bridge see regardless if i have a high note or a low note i still have an adam's apple <laughs> or i still have I, I don't have to you get what i'm trying to say now if other people have to like That's not natural. That means that they're not. That's not their natural voice. They don't have range. And if they do have range, they don't have bridge to be able to connect that range together. And that, or not even connect that together. To, to, it's one thing. So. I can't. You can't cheat. Into. The development or the body that you want because once the sound bounces back like reverberates and all that it's kind of like jumping you need like the ground part to you need the resistance part unless maybe you fly unless you can unless you're flying so unless you're flying do you need resistance while you're flying <clears throat> when you're <laughs> producing sound you're literally like your vocal however you want to wear it there's resistance to it and there's tension and there's ways to you can create tension different things you can do now So for example, like a voice might sound more strained versus like, um, uh, kind of like a voice where it's like, uh, and it just kind of like fades away. That's like more, t that strain is more tension and then the, uh, like the kind of fade away, that's kind of like a, a lack of tension. Now, if you cheat to get to try to bridge those bridge if you're not already there <laughs> then and vocal control and practice is an entirely different thing so if you're already there then vocal control and practice is like another thing that's just practice well that's just being that's just doing it over and over or you know actually singing a lot um so that, that's just experience but i'm talking about like that, yeah that's 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 like the next step or if you're already there that's just what you would do you would just start experiencing it's like you have legs walk um people would cheat though on that the, the, basically it can cause implosions inside of one's own body and then uh once the person uses that too much those spots become like i don't know sodomized <laughs> like not not able to uh, be able to produce whatever that was again because they weren't producing it from that location it's like they're reflecting it off of that and then using that as like a way like a portal to try to make a sound appear in that way so their voice actually doesn't isn't that it's like a strained it's like a strained over or underlay it's it's a strained version of their actual voice instead of um smooth the whole way through or in control the whole way through now, doing that too much causes, like, parasitical, you know, it causes a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> Energy problems. Um, causes a lot of stuff. So, yeah, you have to be a sound mind, health, and body, and all that. Um, and again, like, the way your bones reverberate and... So, if 
you don't have bridge and you're not basically it's best to work from your natural voice and continue from there and then your range will increase and expand and then the more you're able to um operate within that range consistently then the more that just that becomes or the more that um the more that um it'd be like if you had a wrinkled a wrinkle and then you held the the cloth or whatever it was the cloth whatever in a in a position so the wrinkle would be out and then you like let go and it kind of comes back if you if you stay in that range or you stay producing that range and expanding it as, as well or getting better at it then you develop or you sustain more of your whole self aka you're more healthy people who don't do that throughout their lives and stuff like that it's not really like um it can it can be a little you, it, it can kind of constrict your movements and your behavior and your, your thinking and all that type of stuff um and your ability to make certain sounds make certain facial gestures body movements a lot of different things um but that's like still like it's kind of like it, it becomes a little more dormant you know what i'm saying now if you cheat though at it it's like you're removing it it's like you think you're adding something but actually you're removing that from yourself and then it leaves you like with holes and like looking crazy because of like Doing that is like putting a chainsaw. <laughs> okay, it's like using a chainsaw in your body. That's not... Versus like a conveyor belt. <laughs> Something, okay, like it's not the same thing. Now, let's say if you use a high voice for a really long time and it's not your actual voice or you use a low voice for a really long time and it's not your actual voice and it's strange, right? Like, unless you're acting or doing, like, a, that's a little bit different, like, on TV and stuff like that. But if you're doing that and you, like, just do that and you use that longer than your voice, it's literally like if you just had your finger and you bent it in the wrong direction and you held it there. And then, if, like, after, like, two years, you put it back in the right position and you're wondering why it doesn't work. <laughs> 